I want to come to the Dr. Kumar first because uh, give us the big picture. We've seen a lot of bonhomie in this visit between India and France. Is this the special relationship that Prime Minister Modi now seems to have uh, with he, uh, the French president? Or is this something that has been built up over the last 25 years that has in a way solidified this relationship? Uh, thank you very much for having me. I think the latter, uh, if I may say so, uh, it's taken 25 years for these two countries to establish a certain strategic partnership based on trust and confidence. I would make three points. Both France and India seek a multipolar world. Both believe in practicing strategic autonomy and both follow an independent foreign policy. I think what has happened over time is that the two countries are facing an uncertain world. They have decided that they will seek a stable, predictable world to the extent they can. I would make three final points. These are two middle powers, both France and India, which are trying to make sense of a world which is on the verge of fragmentation. That's the first. Mm -hmm. Second, I think really that India can offer to France and EU a chance of de-risking from China by offering itself as an alternative. And last but not least, I think France has come to the conclusion that no global problem can be solved without India. I'm not saying India is capable of solving all problems, but I'm saying that it is not possible to tackle climate change. It is not possible to tackle possible to tackle public health. It is not possible without India. And therefore, France has taken on India. I would make one final point, which is that the fact that the Prime Minister's visit to France comes so close on the heels of a hugely successful visit to the United States is itself an ultimate expression of India's strategic autonomy. Interesting viewpoints there, uh, uh, Dr. Kumar. I just want to come to Nicholas Barr uh, at the moment. Nicholas Barr, you are the journalist who interviewed the Prime Minister. Give us a sense of how France sees Prime Minister Modi, because we've seen uh, uh, the Prime Minister being warmly received, uh, the guest of honor getting the highest honor. At the same time, we've seen concerns in some quarters over what they call human rights violations, they call... Uh, nationalism, we've seen it in the European Parliament, raising issues in Strasbourg over Manipur. How is Prime Minister Modi perceived by the French establishment? Yes, you're right. There have been some uh, uh, various reports on, uh, on the issue you mentioned, uh, criticizing some of the uh, policies that have been uh, conducted by uh, Prime Minister Modi since uh, he came to power since uh, 2014. Uh, so, yes, we have seen these criticisms. Uh, at the same time, I 100% agree with what the ambassador said. Uh, France considers that uh, India is absolutely instrumental in helping solving uh, the key uh, global issues that uh, we are facing. Uh, we all remember uh, the role that uh, India has uh, played during the COP21 uh, Paris Agreement, uh, India was really uh, instrumental and, and it's thanks to um, uh, this country that uh, we uh, were able to reach an agreement. And another thing is that uh, we share the same, more or less the same views on uh, uh, strategic autonomy. That's something President Macron in particular has been insisting on uh, that France uh, among European countries is the one that stresses more on the need to uh, for Europe and for our country for France to have to reach that uh, strategic autonomy and that's uh, uh, an idea or a line that uh, uh, India is also uh, following that so uh, so yes there are questions on uh, the, the current Indian leadership but mm -hmm. I mean, the, uh, what is more important probably uh, is that we have to have this uh, strategic dialogue 
and that India is a critical partner in um, in the world and of course in the uh, Asia-Pacific region in particular where France has uh, strong interests as well.